How's it going guys? So our third and final beer that we'll be brewing today is going to be the Kostros Amber Lager. Its alcohol content is at a 4.2%. And it's available all year round. Good contribution, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this time we'll be using the pint glasses. Right. Straight up pint. Classic right. like, last, like the first time. Right. Keep so, um, do you want to start? Yeah, I'm going to start part real quick. <laughs> so let me get out of the ring because... Had it on the ring, I don't know why. All right, well, Diego struggles with that. Oh, yeah, well, now I'm struggling. Go. Okay. <laughs> I just want to point out the. I'm really looking forward to trying this one out because, you know, I'm a big fan of Amber Lager. Yeah, you are, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start right. pouring, and um, we're going to pour this one usually. RG didn't demonstrate it. Straight down, and a little bit to the side. Change it up a little bit. You never know. Something different. I did it reverse. It's all right. As long as you get head, right, RG? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no head for RG. No head for RG. The that will be the, the show's uh, uh, title. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably be the episode. Yeah. Who no knows? Well, anyways, let's get going to this, guys. Uh, let's dig in real quick. First, uh, let's look at the color. What do, you, what, what do you think, Alan, when you look at the color of this particular beer? Particular brew, actually. Go with the... It's a, it's a light, like uh, copper, just that kind of thing to it. Again, kind of like similar to the first one, just a little bit lighter. Like yeah. copper. Like copper, yes. You. I'm going with cider. Again. All right. Apple. I don't know, just everything seems, uh, the best way to describe it, I mean, you know, a lot of people have had it. Cider, I'm assuming they would know. That. Cool. I would have to agree with Alan. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a like copper, bronze, kind of like, you know, bronzy uh, looking uh, beer on the coloration. This one's a little bit red. I, I look a little bit red on this one. I don't know if you catch a little yeah, bit of redness on there. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's the, the felt on the so tablecloth. No, no, I, no, I think it is. It is. Actually, actually, if we look at it itself. You see, look at it's like amber look. brown. <laughs> cool. Should we dig into the aromas of the, of the oh, beautiful yeah, brew? Yeah. All right, let me take a good whiff of this. Argy's inhaled half his beer. I know, right? Argy, well, what do you think about the aromas, dude, since you inhaled half of the beer? I think I'm going to go with a car caramel? Caramel? Yeah, caramel? yeah. Okay, so a caramel, yeah. car a caramel like scent. A caramel, yeah, that's what caramel scent. thing for me, like, the best thing I get out of it. Alan, what do you think? Right? Um, yeah. What? Huh? Um, I don't know if it's kind of a multi multi uh, smell to it. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, I would I, I would agree with you on the multi smell on that with that. Yeah, I also I also found like a little bit of a I guess it's probably the caramel that you pointed out earlier. Yeah. A little bit of a buttery scent to it as well because it kind of smells like a little thick. Yeah, you know uh, on that scent, but it, it kind of like it kind of correlates with your guys's this um combination combination of, of, of how you guys described the smell of the beer, which was okay. caramel and uh, a multi bit of on it. Yeah. Cool. Should we dig into the taste? Yeah. Cool. Yes, please. Cheers. Cheers, guys. All right. Oh, I love it. Oh. Whoa, what? We're going to switch it up uh, uh, on this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go first now. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> well, very generous of you, sir. I try it. Buttery, buttery taste to it. I'm not gonna lie. I would. I, I, I paused. Okay, I paused for a reason because I was gonna say caramel taste to it, but I find like a little buttery note to it. I mean, I don't know about what do you think, RG? Uh, I don't really see that. Maybe you guys are more have better taste buds than mine. But maybe a little hint of it. But mostly, I get the uh, the multi taste to it. Yes. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But Definitely. the weird part is like it has a crazy like it's strong. Carbonated uh, start off taste and then it just and it just goes boom smooth smooth boom smooth. it's like a crazy yeah. like just <clears throat> drops off like bam you, something Alan? else let me, let, me, hold on, let me see if I can taste the boom look at the boom drop boom drop um kind of um no for me I kind of go more with a kind of really heavy multi caramel taste to it that's how I describe it for myself yes yeah. absolutely I I totally agree with both of you actually um multi strong taste to it nice smooth finish. Yeah, it's crazy. That's that's how crazy I would smooth finish. Well, what's, it. The, what's the percentage of alcohol? Four point two. Four point two. So it's still. I mean, it's not. It's not, slightly it's not your strong. center beer, but I mean, look, it's, looking it's at a, it, you a, wouldn't think it's a four point two. But even no, it's yeah. a dark beer, but it's blue. It's blue like it's weird. It's a multi beer for a yeah. dark beer. Yeah. It has a weird like. Yeah, smooth and it's drop not. Nah, well, kind of, I guess not too heavy, it, but slightly. Heavy. What do you guys think about the carbonation so far? It's pretty strong. It's weird. I mean, it looks one way. Look at that. I mean, 
Yeah. It looks one way, but it kind of does like a lager thing where like it's carbonations there yeah. and it's smooth and like really light. So it's weird. You're expecting one thing when you absolutely. see it. Absolutely. It just does something else. Yeah, absolutely. How would you guys, as we're tasting the beer, how would you guys, uh, or what would you guys pair this particular brew with as far as pairings with the meal? Going with me first? Yeah. All right. That's what we're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just really pretty. Mm-hmm. What's called man pretty. Um, go with this one. Kind of a beef. Kind of, kind of a uh, heavy, heavy meat. <laughs> I don't know why I just laugh, but kind of like heavy meat. Okay. <laughs> Moving along to RG. <laughs> RG, what do you think? Whoa. Three beers in. It's your brother, dude. <laughs> it's weird. The weird part is that you think, like I said, the whole color thing, the whole, throws you off. So, but I think I would go with um, light food, maybe like a, like something like chicken, something with a lighter taste, not too much strong, because it has that drop off, so you can enjoy with pretty much anything and not yeah. have to worry about the overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely. That's what's weird about yeah. it. I mean, it's different. Here like, with you both, so. um, a protein based dish, yes. So meat. Or a, 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 a greasy, greasy meat, yeah, or a greasy like meat idiot. Yeah. A greasy <laughs> meal. <laughs> maybe even vegetables. Cool. So, any yes. final notes? Do you guys want to want to want to add to this particular brew? I'm good. I'm good. RG? No, I think I've said all I needed to say. Cool. Well, this one was the uh, Cross Charles's uh, Amber Lager. All right. Cool. Guys, cheers. Yeah. Cheers.